Evening, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ola Jude. I'm all the way from Lagos to New York City, and I'm here to introduce my brother, Dr. Njakuri Damage. Yeah. Yeah. So, welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damage. So, coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. New York City is so great that 1,500 people yeah. died last year what? from drug overdose. Oh, 1,500. Now, no, that is three times more than the number of people who kill every year from gunshot wounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Watch. At least 91 Americans die every day from an opioid overdose. Drug overdoses now kill more people than guns or car accidents. The opioid crisis is an emergency. Opioid addiction is reaching epidemic levels. Oh, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know what you are thinking. You are thinking why some people do not have enough drugs to go around. No. Some are taking overdose. You know, you know, it's not getting enough. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> that's, not a, that, that's not exactly what's happening, but we'll let that slide, you know. We'll let it slide. Talking about overdose, yeah. very soon we are going to have an overdose of President Donald Trump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Trump. I no, 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 I'm not talking about the Mueller event reports. No, uh, no, 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 not that one. No, 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 not that one. But do you know that he's um Sonny? Uh, Stormy. 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 No, 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 Stormy Daniels. Stormy. Yeah, he's a poster. Wrote a tell-all book. Uh, tell-all, and and she she told everything, <laughs> including the size of. Wait, in a part of the book that just leaked to the media, the uh, poster gave a vivid description of Donald Trump's uh, manhood. Hey! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> if, if that is not an overdose of information, in fact, an extreme case of an overdose of information, I don't know what else to call it. You, 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 are you worried about that? According to Stormy Daniels, Donald Trump's skinny <laughs> aren't that much. <laughs> no, 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 no. She did not compare it to a mustard seed. No, and, and, no, no. This is exact word. Her exact word is it and something to write home about. <laughs> she wrote that it was so insignificant that she couldn't even tell her girlfriends the day after. And, and when a woman did not tell, you know, it must be very bad. You know, if after the fact they didn't tell the girlfriend. <laughs> Now, now, my question is this. So why did she write it in the book? If it's why? something that is not, um, what is it called? It's not, not, it's right not, nothing to write on about. Why did she write it in the book? Enemies of progress. <laughs> All these people who want Donald Trump to go down. He's not going down. He's not going, he's not going down. You know? But he's not coming up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a good one. This one is a good one. <laughs> well, but they said they start coming up. It's coming somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. Stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, oh, talking of greed, another form of overdose. The son of the president of Equatorial uh, Guinea, uh, Teodoro uh, Obiang. Uh, uh, no, the guy, the guy was detained in Brazil. Yes. Because he came in with um, a wristwatch wow. worth twelve million dollars hey, hey. and and one point two million dollars in cash. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, isn't that isn't that surprising? One point two million. I, I know, I know. Brazil prohibits people from entering their country with anything more than two thousand dollars in cash. You can't do that. But this man, but then the, the son of the president, he's not an ordinary person oh, now. He's not the guy is not an ordinary person now. But the president the people they don't understand that. They don't, no, get, they it. don't get it. They don't get it. He is the vice president of his father's country. Yes. <laughs> did, did you get what I just said? <laughs> he was in Brazil for medical treatment. Wow. I know I know that you want to know the mission, the kind of treatment he was receiving. Rumor has it that uh, his thing does not work <laughs> Not even Viagra could help. Viagra, you know. So, so that's it's a serious, it's a serious, it's a serious issue. Serious issue. Serious issue. The present son chose Brazil because last year a French court found him guilty for embezzlement and money laundering. What? Yep, yep. He received a three-year suspended sentence. In the judgment against him, they they took his 101. Um, room mansion in yeah. Paris wow. and, and a dozen of the most expensive cars in the world. They wow. took it. Hey. That's what the French did to him. You know, wow. can you imagine that? Two so, now, now, for those who do not know, suspended sentence is different from the kind of sentence that um, Nigeria's former vice president, oh. Abu Bakr Atiku, Abu Atiku is suffering from. You know, uh. Atiku's own is called Uba sentence. Uh. Uba sentence. You know, a, a sentence that is imposed on someone. 
without any official guilty uh, verdict yeah. 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 in the court of law. That's no bad sentence. You know the way Uba is saying it's not a taxi, but it's still a taxi. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> now, now, like, like Nigeria's former vice president, Abu who the Americans, you know the Americans, slammed the door on his face. Hey! Once France slammed the door on the face of the president, uh, the son of the president of Fife, Todor, Todor. Yeah, Todor. the guy now went to Brazil as his playground. He goes there to play. In 2014, this same guy used 30 million dollars of his yeah. country's money to yeah. pay for Michael Jackson's gloves. <laughs> 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 and some uh, choice properties in uh, California. Oh, and a private jet. Just, just like Atiku, authorities in the United States frowned at that action. Mm. You know, so, so the U.S. is no longer his playing per playground. He can't, he can't come here anyone to play, you know. Mm. Now, mind you, Ikuturu Guinea cannot provide safe drinking water are you serious? For half of its citizens. <laughs> no, they cannot. Despite its oil boom, mm -hmm. half of the school children there that enter the primary school, they will never graduate. Oh. Now, most importantly, the man's father, the president, mm -hmm. just spent millions of dollars mm -hmm. building the best, what he called the best hospital in Central Africa. What? Yeah, mm -hmm. in Equatorial Guinea. Is this true? Guess what? It's still not good enough for the sun. It's the best in Central Africa, but it's not good enough for the sun to deal with something as small as the thing not getting up. No. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Now, now, you know, you know what I think. We should, we should stop hoping that uh, the long arm of the law is that what they call it? We catch these people. I don't think that will happen. It's impossible now. I think we should try the African uh, style of justice. Hey, you don't you think about that? We should try. Here is the here, here is here is an example of that action in action. In Uganda, a man stole mattress, a brand new mattress. He just stole it. He was not arrested by the police. He was not taken in front of a judge. No, 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 no. He got punished immediately when a big snake attacked the man. The snake rode, rode itself round the neck of the man. And the man could not run away. No, look at the picture now. I'm not it up. Look at the picture. Huh? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine if we station these kind of snakes at Nigerian airports? You know, you know all the airports in Africa. Any chief that wants to leave the country, yeah. we have the snake attack, yeah. and they roll around their neck, his or her neck. Yeah. You know, think about it. If we had deployed this weapon, you know, the Z and Alice in Madeke would today be at uh, Namdias Giwe Airport, yeah. waiting for us to arrest her. Yeah. You, know, you know, if we deploy the snakes, we'll have overtaken Bolatin Bus airplane. Oh, wow. By now, it will be everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Even Motala Nyako. Whatever happened to that man and his EFCC case? Do you know anything about the man? Yeah. You know, anyway, anyway, Motala Nyako will have been stuck in his uh, mango farm somewhere, <laughs> waiting for us to come and arrest him. Yeah. You know, we need this kind of action, don't you think so? Mm -hmm. This is a Yubo kind of law. It doesn't work. Anyway, anyway, the Ugandan incident happened at the, um, they call the place uh, Kejonjo, Kejonjo district of Western Uganda. It was a suspect who raised alarm and people gathered. Look, look at the guy. Look at the guy. The village people called a native doctor who helped to remove the snake from the neck of the suspect. Ah. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Simple. You don't need all these uh, lawyers and judges and, you know, things are taken care of easily. You know, this could give native doctors a uh, government job yes. that will pay them, that will pay them yes. pension, yes. pension and gratuity. Pension and gratuity. You know? Don't you think that go, we should suggest, we should send, we should send this to uh, the take it back people. They, yeah. should, they should announce it. They should announce it. Announce it next week as the next, next, next policy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Next yeah, policy. Be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also in Uganda, uh -huh. musician turned politician Bobby uh -huh. Wine. You know Bobby, Bobby Wine. Wine. He returned from the United States, hey. where he had uh -huh. gone for medical treatment. You know he was uh -huh. here. Yeah, following that touch up by the security <laughs> agencies. <laughs> no, no, he was he, he came to DC. Uh -huh. The man was not playing. He did not use the treatment as an excuse to do what uh, Two Face did to Nigerians. <laughs> you know what I mean? He didn't say, "Let me just use that and disappear." No, he yeah. went back. Bobby Wine got to America, did what he had to do, mm -hmm. and returned to Uganda where the fight is really going on. Yeah. That's where the fight is. If you're you abroad and you're talking nonsense like keeping it real and uh, a doctor damages, <laughs> the real fight is when you are at the scene. That's where that's yeah. Museveni is scared now. Museveni's police force warned Bobby Wine that only his family members will be allowed into the airport to welcome him. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Even uh, Shore gets uh, a lot of people to come and welcome him. Why? Why will? Why will? 
<laughs> Can you imagine that? But, 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 but Ugandans defied the police uh -huh. and they trooped out to welcome Bobby. Good Bobby, Bobby. Hey. you know, Good. how are you? I tell you, I tell you what, Museveni has his job cut out for him uh -huh. because this Bobby Wine is not playing. He's not playing. Now, we shall keep you posted on the development. Meanwhile, talking of a story that uh, we have been following all these months, you know, the Chinese, uh, Chinese influence hey. in Africa. Chinese influence. Uh -huh. Now, there are reports that Chinese government mm. that they've been bribing media houses in Africa not to publish bad news about China's activities in Africa. Ah. No, no, they can't get to Dr. Damage. Yeah. So they can give everybody one. They can't get. They can't reach us. But 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 it continues to leak. Did you hear that in Zambia, China has taken over the country's power company <laughs> because they defaulted in their loan. They they took it over. The same thing with their national broadcasting uh, corporation, their, their TV. China took it over. <laughs> took it over, yeah. In our own eyes, a new colonial power is in Africa. From the and it's gradually taking over Africa, inch by inch. Yeah, and proceeding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just to show you how vicious the Chinese are. In Uganda, two Chinese businessmen attacked a minister, Ugandan minister, mm -hmm. for collecting bribe from them but failing to deliver. <laughs> On what? On what the Chinese wanted? No, no, no. They physically act. look at the picture. look at the video now. No. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, the Chinese are not just coming, they are here, <laughs> they are here. Here is a video of how Chinese are coming into Africa. Now, now, let me warn you, this video, you will see Africans, but just imagine, <laughs> look, look at the video, one, two, three, four, five, this, 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 you see, see, let me tell you, forget about the fact that these are Africans coming out from one car, you know, like, like 50 of them. <laughs> This is exactly how Chinese are coming out in Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, you give them one visa, that will bring in two dozen Chinese citizens. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? No, no. Because Africans don't know, you don't know the difference. You see one Chinese, nobody knows. No, they come in anyhow. Now, there is a new colonial master in Africa, and Africans are busy dancing and celebrating their independence. Like, like this one. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> now, now, this colonial power, it's not like the last one, you know, the British or the Americans or the, you know, no, no. This one's, they send in their port to sell corn on African streets. Look at, yeah, look at them. They mine illegal, they have illegal mines in Ghana. Look at them. And, and they have our law enforcement people bend over to serve them. Look at, look at them. Uh, oh, yeah, look, I'm just telling you. Uh, this, this is something very new. I don't know if Africa is equipped to deal with this. You know, they're not even afraid of mosquitoes. Now, to make matters worse, a few Africans who made it to China are mistreated and uh, discriminated against. You know, some hotels in China will not let an African in even if you have the money to pay. Mm. Chinese police constantly they harass Africans who have uh, small, small businesses. Eh? That's, it's happening. No, they, they wrote me. They told me. Yes. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in Nigeria. South Angola, of Africa. Meanwhile, in Nigeria and, Niger Nigeria and Angola, Chinese manufacturers are not just sending in their inferior goods. Mm. They are sending in their own salesperson to now compete, open stores and compete with Africans who are selling China products. Oh, wow. Can you imagine that? Yeah. And you know they don't pay for their duties when they import things. They just bribe officials in Africa and, so, and, they, so. and they get in. So, so this is my question, Africans, who did this to us? <laughs> who did this to us? I wonder. We're gone, we're finished. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in Nigeria, we are preparing for the 2019 election. Yeah. Yeah. February, yeah. You will have thought that by now the presidential candidates will be having debates on issues like this China in Africa. No, 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 no. There's no such plans. They are busy visiting um, kingmakers looking for their blessings. <laughs> hey, you know, you know where I'm going. They are busy visiting kingmakers begging for their blessings. Uh -huh, like this one and this one. Uh, and this one, uh, <laughs> uh, even uh, take it back movement hey. went to see the old knee of effect. Ah, uh, 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 it, it did not wait, it did not end well. It did not end well. After waiting for three hours, someone used the tear gas to disperse the movement. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? A whole movement. No, no, no. It, no what? It didn't happen. Not that way. What, okay. Watch, watch the video now.
According to all news historian, uh, Awofi Richard, you know the guy, uh, he said that Shore could have been turned into a goat. <laughs> for, you know why are you laughing now? For desecrating the all news truth. Why are you laughing? <laughs> this is, this is, I'm telling you, the historian. Oh, they're disappointing me, people here. Shore could have been turned into a goat yeah. for desecration of all news truth by his refusal to do what? Prostrate. Hey! Oh, you know? No. <laughs> 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 now, now, now. The man said that if you were when Juju -ju at the palace mm. was still potent. Hey. No, that, that Shore would have been taken out of the palace as a goat. I, 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 I say nonsense. Good. I say nonsense. <laughs> this is my take. The palace actually tried to turn Shore into a goat. Hey. But that thing around his neck screamed. <laughs> They didn't oh, scream. He was screaming. Up, up, pass up, 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 pass up, 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 pass. That was what said him. That was that was that was what said him. That was what said him. Nothing. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, anyway. What did uh, he will have been a good by now? Anyway, what did President Buhari accomplish this last week? Do, do anybody know? He replaced uh, the, he replaced the acting uh, acting DSS uh, DSS director huh? with a permanent one. Did you, you know? You notice that? Yeah. yeah. Despite the cries that that Northerners were dominating the security apparatus, yeah, he brought another Northerner to replace someone from Niger Delta. Oh he, did, he did that. <laughs> he did that. He did that. You see, you see, this is what I, this is what I think. He's stubborn. He's stubborn. He's stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't care. He didn't care that he was um, replacing this man when the beer friends were having their annual uh, sit at home. Or uh, what do they call it? Offense salad. Offense salad. <laughs> That the economy was so bad that yeah. nobody could afford offense salad, so they just made do with uh, coco, coco yam, <laughs> coco yam, roasted coco yam, you know. But it's all the same thing, you know what I mean? Just when the expected complaints <laughs> about the DSS uh, appointment started to pour in, you know what Buhari did? He regained his balls, you know, he lost his ball, and he mustered the courage to ask um, our anti Kemi Adelson, the Nigeria's uh, Minister for Finance, to turn in her resignation letter. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anti Anti Kemi is gone. Ah, no, 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 she's she's gone. Not just gone from her position as minister. She dropped her resignation letter and quickly left Nigeria and returned to her country of origin. <laughs> on, on, on her way out, on her way out, she said that she she was tired of living in a country where forgery is not corruption. <laughs> You know, it pained me. It pained, it pained me that such a smart, beautiful woman ended her career like this. Unlike Ngozi Konjiwala, I, I, I don't, I don't see Google or Twitter inviting Auntie Kemi to join their board. It won't happen anytime soon. It won't happen anytime. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to all your kids. You know, no matter the situation, do not use the first part of your life to destroy the last. Don't. One with the camera. Um, um, Sasha, Sasha, tweet that out, tweet that out. And one more thing, one more thing about about beware of trusted friends. And Tikimi blamed her problems on trusted friends who got her the fake NYC exam certificate. Uh, now, now, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. Wasn't that the same excuse that uh, people who um, who are caught with hard drugs give? Yeah. You know, they, they all say that it was trusted friend that gave it to yeah, me. So was it that? Yeah. This, this is him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that stop the Thailand uh, government from executing them after? No. no. Yeah. So, so I'm look, I'm looking forward to IG of police moving ahead with the arrest of uh, Kim. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Don't, don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Now, now that Auntie Kemi is gone, 
and I think the next person who should go is Professor Isa Isa Sage. You know that guy, that guy. Uh, he should he should take what remains of his faculty to his village. Yes, sir. In a permanent permanent retirement. Don't you think yes, so? Sir. Nonsense. The is lost at the Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is there anymore. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the corruption fighting government hmm. has moved on from anti chemistry issue. Yeah. They moved on. They don't care anymore. Buhari was seen in Oshun State hmm. campaigning for his party to yeah. win the governorship election there. Uh -huh. were, you, were you there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He was there. On the other side of the campaign was the video. Uh -huh. You know the video? Yep, yep, you have me right. The video. He cut short his NYAC US tour <laughs> to go home and campaign for his uncle. <laughs> no, 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 okay. no, he cut it short. <laughs> <laughs> he cut his shot. <laughs> he had to do it. <laughs> he called back his NYC US star to go and campaign for his uncle Adeleke. Remember him? The, the dancing. Send it. Let, take it. The uncle with that has a fake university degree. Huh? No, yes. no, okay, okay, not just the university degree. We understand now, you know, this is opening breaking news mm. that his Wayek get killed too. Yeah. There is the 1981 Wayek that he fell, and uh. then the 2017 Wayek that someone took for him. Hey. Hey. <laughs> news, news report had it that the police wanted to pick the man up, yeah. and, and no, 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 they just wanted to pick him up and give him sample Wayek questions to answer. <laughs> No, 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 just, uh, we, we believe you got this. Right. More importantly, for Shun people, you know, Adeleke, the man who uh, wants to be governor, mm -hmm. did not debate with the candidates for governorship. Yes, he didn't debate. No. He said he was stuck in traffic. I said, go and tell that to kill the kid. <laughs> now, according to APC, the man was dancing <laughs> while the debate was going on. <laughs> no, no, he was dancing while the debate was going on. Okay, ah. watch. <laughs> You see, see, all these things still did not matter. He lost. This is something we call Secrets of Peace. It's better than the premise that the picture is worth more than a thousand. No, no. The picture you're looking at is the picture of Rotimi Amaichi yeah. and the former head of state, Abdul Salami Abdul Abu Abu You know them? Look at look at them in a jolly good mood. Wow. Did you see South South North Central no. divide? No. Did you see Ikwere Hausa divide? No. Did you see Christian Muslim divide? No. See, see, no, not of course. The chopping class are unified by one thing alone. Yep. The color of the Naira. The color of the Naira. Think about it. The color of the Naira. Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. A container load of newly printed Liberian banknotes yeah. worth $60 million hey. has gone missing. Hey, Africa! $60 million hey. gone missing. George Weir is the money. <laughs> George Weir said he's on the case. He said he used to miss penalties, but not this case. In this case, <laughs> <laughs> he vowed that he will find the missing money. Okay, now, wow. the first thing he did was to ban several officials from traveling abroad. Unfortunately, the Kemi has gone before this. Because <laughs> the, the man could have kept Kemi at home. You know what I mean? Kemi, you know, he could have kept our Kemi alone. Oh, oh this is this good. Italian fire rights um, interior minister. You know the guy? Yes, yes, I know. Uh, Matteo uh, Sal Salvini. Salvini. Salvini, yeah. Is that not a mob name? He said that migrants, African migrants, are slaves. What? Oh, yeah, he said it. No. And that pissed off the, the, the African Union. Uh -huh. you, know, you, know, you know why they're pissed off? The man forgot to add self made slaves. Uh, unlike the 400 year uh, slavery that happened when they were forced, I don't, I don't, Africans were forced I don't want out. People, the people coming with lottery, right? They're this one, this uh, one, this uh, one, uh, they go on their own. Uh, they go through the desert, uh, go through the sea to uh, be slaves in Italy. I don't, uh, I don't see why that's a problem. Do you have a problem with that? No, I don't. I mean, this one here is a slave. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. 
I mean, I mean, he's needed in his village, but he's here. Yeah, I know. He's washing toilets, but it's okay. It's okay. We don't care what job you do, as long as you feed yourself and your family. That's yes, good. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh, this is good. Number three. Uh -huh, this is for you. This, this is for you. A lawyer writes, uh, Governor Ayo Fayoshe, yeah, the Oshu yeah, Oshu yeah. Oshu and demands 600 million naira what? in what? unpaid legal fees. What? Oh, yeah. The man is not serious. It's that lawyer, good. that lawyer is not serious. It's At this dying good. minute, when Ayo Fayoshe is collecting all the money, package, packaging yeah, everything for, for the road trip, for the road shot? trip, you know, yeah. the man wants to cut him short. Yeah. Does he know how much it costs to smuggle people now? Yes. From from Libya to to Mediterranean, yes. and Fayoshe had to, especially important refugees uh -huh. like Fayoshe. Uh -huh. so this man, this, this lawyer is oh not serious. God. The man is collecting money, be, be, putting in a supplementary He's budget get out, get out. to get money to make He's the trip. Out, you know, to He's get out. Good. This lawyer is trying to. <laughs> okay, okay, this one. Oh, this one is this one. I, I predicted this one. Nigeria Air. Federal government suspends national air carrier project. Wow. Air carrier project. Oh yeah, suspended. This is my question. This is my question. The seventy-five thousand dollars that they paid for the domain name. Yes. Are they going to get it back? I don't know. Now the money that that minister, what's his name, that minister of state, has been traveling all over the world, spending money. Are they going to get it back? Oh. What did what did Peter B say? Peter B said that when the premise of an argument is wrong, yes. the conclusion is also wrong. From the beginning, the whole premise of the Nigerian air thing is wrong. Yeah. See the conclusion. See, yes. see, see the headline. Exactly. Nonsense. Fune, fune. Nonsense. Yeah. Kafune fune di otua. Fune fune ga di ayi. This one I got. This one. This one we make it. You're from Imo State. Uh, you're from Imo State. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen to this. I don't know if rainfall in Imo State is acidic. Mm. No, no, no. This is the governor of Imo State saying. I don't know if the rainfall in Imo State is acidic. Uh. It has destroyed all roads. Uh. <laughs> oh, gotcha. that's, that's the very reason. You know. You know. I will pause for you to think, think about it. Mm. He used inferior materials to construct roads, uh -huh. and he's surprised that they are done. They are gone. Yeah, he's blaming it on the rain. Mm. Blame it on the rain. Blame it on the sun. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't blame it. Don't who, 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 who taught you how to sing? Yeah. You got the You got the gist. You got the gist. Who did this? Who did this to us? You know, know how did this man become governor of a state? I don't know. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs>
and nobody's talking about it. This political, this idea. What is I your man? What is, is your man doing? Yeah. 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 What is your man talking about? Talking about. He's taking back Nigeria. <laughs> Next. Our second email is from Adegwega from Chicago. Ooh, that's that's our, that's yeah, our, yeah, that's our friend. That's, that's, that's our friend, yeah, yeah. And, yes. <laughs> and he writes, yes. Hello, doctor. Okay. How are you doing? Good guy. How are you doing? This is my friend. I'm good. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I started watching your program last year, mm-hmm. and I must say that it's so lovely and incredible. Wow. This is good. I want to say that this your new nurse is beautiful. Oh, oh, just so you know, the new uniform is why we're really okay, there. I was thinking, why, <laughs> why do we go from Houston to Chicago? <laughs> you know, Houston to Chicago when we have people writing from China. Okay. Uh-huh. You see what? See this new uniform is paying off. Mm. Mm. She's doing a great job. Thank you. Please, I'd like to talk to you about Tinubu and Amber Day. Mm. What do you think about the new guy that Tinubu is bringing into the political circle? <laughs> 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 my friend, my friend, let me do you say, think Godfatherism is helping us in Africa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, there's something funny that I saw. This Tinubu, I didn't understand the whole thing uh-huh. until the book launch of uh, 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 what's the name? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see oh, when? Yeah. Did you see when uh, uh, um, um, Amber Day? Uh-huh. Left his uh, position on yes, the bank yes. to go and stand beside. Okay, you know what? What? Put it on. Uh, Sasha, show them the video. Thank you. Thank you. The man is in trouble. He's hey, gone. Hey, he's, hey, he's, he's gone. He's finished. We're talking about no the next. No next. No next. No you don't play with your godfather. Hey. You know, if you sign up on that paper, say you want a godfather, you obey the godfather. He was ready to be <laughs> Obey the godfather. <laughs> <laughs> next. Okay. Sense. Our final email is from. I'm just warming up. Uh, I'm Moh- just warming up. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Our final email is from Mohammed Ali Deba. Ah. Ah, we used to be see a long time ago. Yes. Two work in Shaka, a long time ago. Two in Shaka. Ah, ah, we used to, a long time ago. Yeah, what does he want? And he writes, yes. Hey, doctor. Yes, no, my man. It's been quite a while you heard from me. <laughs> I will say that. No. But I'm to up to date with your show. Oh, good, good guy. You see, I have friends. I, I have need friends. you. I need you to perform two diagnoses today. Oh, okay. Number I'm, one. I've been doing that all day. Mm-hmm. Nigerians that keep celebrating politicians that articulate from party one hmm. to another hmm. and are being seen as celebrities and rewarded with uh, with automatic tickets. Hmm. Now only them work come. Uh, that's, uh, a, that's a good who point. Did this that's a good point. No, no, it's true. Did this to there us. should be real democracy, yes. mm-hmm. not giving people automatic tickets. Yes. Yes. So that yes. 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 No, nothing. Go and go for primaries. Nonsense. Mm-hmm. Next. Correct one. What was the next one? And then second part of the yeah, diagnosis. Yeah, question. Yeah. I get your bread. Uh-huh. She don't get two stars. Uh huh. It's like people don't patronize her like tomato juice. Why? If nobody likes, I'll consider. <laughs> my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. No, 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 no. The people that are toasting her are bishops. Yes. <laughs> hey, it's not, it's not the level yes, yeah. that you know all these small boys in Rome, in Hungary, or in Chicago. No, no, no. Uh, bishops, that level. <laughs> not, you know, that level. <laughs> And we're receiving a picture, that, that so level. you can send it so to you can, you can, you can, you can, Talk to me in private, you know what I mean? <laughs> I give you my private email. That's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages And on Instagram at Dr. Damages And here's my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book, hmm. My Dance, Your Chance, uh, by hmm. Debbie Allen. And it says, the distance between your dreams and your reality is discipline. Hmm. Hey, that's a good that's one. It. That's, that's, that's a good it. one. If you can't get from your dream to the reality, mm. you're not disciplined. Mm. Okay. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Doctor, what do you see about the Kenyan Godfather? Mm. Going on <laughs> no, that's a serious issue. You know what I mean? Mm. I had that um, 
there were money issues that um, they didn't that go well. Fun. Yeah, you're a godfather to <laughs> to anybody. No, no, these people are, are not to They are more powerful than me. No, no they, they, not, they are more powerful than oh, me. Oh, not tomato juice. Tomato juice is good for them. Not play tomato juice, but that's why. No, I can't. I can't. I'm not like a godfather. You should have a private jet before you're a godfather. You should, but you know how they all end up, all the godfathers? Yes. Oh, it works, yeah, like that. Ah! <laughs> ah! Follow me, I can't.